Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about booby streamers. Now, whether you love them or hate them, booby streamers are a pretty hot topic in the gaming community and in the streaming community. So guys, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we get into the main part of the video, I wanna say I am going to be giving my 100% honest opinion what I think about booby streamers in this video. So if you are not someone who is willing or can handle other people giving their own opinions and ideas about something without being a very negative person, this video is not for you and I suggest you leave now. However, if you are someone who is willing to accept other people's ideas, opinions, and views, or at least just hear about them without being someone who's gonna be completely negative, and you are someone who is genuinely interested in watching this video, this video is 100% for you. So with that said guys, let's go ahead and talk about booby streamers. Now guys, let's start off by talking about the controversy surrounding booby streamers. Now the controversy and what every other person talks about in one of their talk videos where they talk about booby streamers is essentially the controversy surrounding booby streamers. And what that controversy is, is essentially you have a large group of females on Twitch and on YouTube and you could go through the IRL section and creative section on Twitch and you could literally see how many booby streamers there are in fact it's like there's more and more each day and you could go through the creative and IRL section and find tons of these streamers a few infamous ones are people like Saint Peach, Pink Sparkles, Lil Chipmunk, Dejari, you also have Sinsin Bear and those are just to name a few. There are plenty of other booby streamers on Twitch, which you could see if you just scroll through the IRL section or the creative section, you could see a lot of these female streamers who essentially show off their body, wear tight revealing clothes on stream, do very sexual suggestive things on stream just to make money, whether that be playing a game with their cleavage hanging out or their boobs hanging out, wearing the smallest, most tight revealing outfits you can possibly think of, wearing skibby outfits, dancing around on their stream, doing weird stuff, bending over in front of the camera, doing squats for subs, doing writing people's names on a board, and then while they're writing it, they're bending over and they're like, is this good? Can you guys, can you, can you guys, can, can you guys, can you guys see that? And they're just shoving their ass into the camera. And you could literally see this if you scroll through the IRL section and essentially the creative section on Twitch. You could also see some of this stuff on YouTube, especially with a streamer like Zoe Berg. So guys, what the controversy surrounding booby streamer is, is essentially they are using their bodies to make money, whether that be wearing tight revealing clothing, dancing around on stream, basically doing sexual suggest suggestive things, or over-sexualizing themselves to make money and get viewers. And the controversy is, is that they're doing that stuff, growing very easily, getting plenty of viewers and stuff like that. And the controversy is, is that they are essentially stealing from the hardworking streamers who actually create decent quality content rather than just show their body off for money. So yeah guys, that's what the controversy is surrounding booby streamers, is essentially they are flaunting and showing off their bodies to make money, and they are stealing viewers and essentially money and potential subscribers from people who actually want to work hard and create gaming related content and other related content when they stream. So guys, let's move on to the next thing. And that is, is, does it really affect people as much as they think? And in my 100% honest opinion, I think booby streamers are stealing viewers and potential subscribers from hardworking people who would rather create real content than show off their bodies for money. Fortunately, if you go look at any game, it is mostly dominated by real gamers, people who actually play games and have fun rather than by booby streamers. But booby streamers are still a huge problem. But for the most part, live streaming is dominated by people who actually want to play and make real content. Thank God. If you look at the faces of Twitch, like Summit, Soda Poppin', if, if you look at the really big faces of Twitch, most of them are real people who create really good quality content, and thank God none of them are booby streamers. But there are a few booby streamers who are extremely popular. In fact, a lot of them are. 
so I don't think it is affecting people as much as they think it is. I don't think booby streamers are affecting live streaming as much as a lot of people think it is. A lot of people blow it out of proportion, proportion like it's ending live streaming for actual real gamers when it's actually not. It's a very severe and serious problem, but a lot of people tend to blow it out of proportion and say that it's killing live streaming and that live streaming is going away, which I don't think it is. But if it ever comes to that where booby streamers start to dominate places like Twitch and or YouTube, um, then I think we're going to have a very serious issue. And then I think live streaming can be killed off very easily. But thank God that doesn't seem to be happening and hopefully it never will. And thank God, if you look at any game, whether that be on Twitch and YouTube live streaming, it's mostly dominated by people who actually want to play the game. And to be honest, I think there are many people out there who are subscribed to booby streamers who are normal, everyday, average people who might like the content. I also think it's just a bunch of very excited people, if you will, who are subscribed to these Twitch streamers. However, I do believe most of the people subscribed to these booby streamers are probably subscribed to regular streamers as well. People who actually make good quality content rather than just flaunting their body off all the time. Alright guys, a couple of key points I would like to add in about booby streamers. Um, it is now after I have made this video and I forgot a couple of key points I forgot to mention and tell you guys about, so I'm going to do just that. Now guys, a few key points I wanted to mention but forgot to are that I do think that a lot of these booby streamers do take up and take away a very large percentage of the viewership on Twitch, which could be used towards other gamers who are actually making real content rather than dancing around half naked on camera and or playing a game super tiny and having, you know, just their half naked body on camera. I want to say that I do think these booby streamers are taking away a large percentage of viewership from other streamers and possibly taking their chance away to grow. However, I do not think it is some astronomical number like a million viewers or something. I think it may be more about 30,000 viewers on Twitch, maybe even more, maybe a 100,000. But I don't think it's some astronomical number like people are saying, oh, they're taking away millions of viewers and millions of subs. I don't think so. I think the number is more like 100,000 at any given time. But over time, that does add up. Now, guys, the second thing I want to say and the key point I want to bring up is I am absolutely fine with female streamers wearing tank tops, wearing leggings. I don't care if they really bend over to write the name on the whiteboard. I... I the only time I think booby streamers are killing streaming and the only time I am against it is when they are blatantly half naked dancing around on camera when they are showing way too much than what they should be and they are over sexualizing themselves and they are not focused on content but just over sexualizing themselves to make money that's when i think it becomes a problem i am fine with female streamers wearing regular clothes tank tops whatever have you leggings i really honestly don't care the only problem i have is when they start dressing half naked and they don't cover themselves at all i mean some of them wear bikinis for christ's sakes and yeah guys those are two key points I wanted to add in. Anyways, I hope you kind of enjoy the rest of this rant video. However, I do believe most of the people subscribed to these booby streamers are probably subscribed to regular streamers as well. People who actually make good quality content rather than just flaunting their body off all the time. However, I still think it affects a very, very important part of the Twitch community. And that brings me to my next topic. And the people who I think it affects the most is female streamers. Real female streamers who produce good quality content. Such as Casey Tron, we also have Loser Fruit. You have people like Lol Renee and Miss Cookies. You have Lol Natsumi. And on YouTube people, you have like One Shot Girl who streams. And these are streamers who make extremely excellent, fantastic content who I think are affected most by booby streamers.
One is because booby streamers get a lot, a lot of negative hate. They have created this very toxic part of the Twitch community of just a bunch of people who want to hate on them. And then that falls back on other female streamers who just want to create good quality content without showing off their bodies. And there's plenty of them. And it's sad to see that because who it affects the most is a lot of other females and a lot of regular female streamers who stream perfectly normal without revealing anything, without being over-sexualized, without being over-sexual. It takes away from them the most. It probably takes more viewers away from them. It probably takes more subs away from them. It probably takes more everything away from them than anybody else in the streaming community. And I think that's very unfortunate. And that's who I think it affects the most is other female streamers who work hard to produce good quality content to where you have these booby streamers who just show off their body to make money. And that's who I think it affects the most is other female streamers who just want to create good quality content without showing off their body, who are truly into gaming, who are truly interested in gaming. I think it affects them the most, and that's really unfortunate. Now guys, a lot of people say that, oh, these cam girls, they need to be banned, they should be banned. In my opinion, I think they should be banned as well. I don't think you should sit there and be able to over-sexualize yourself for views and for money and subscribers. However, according to the Twitch guidelines, it is not against the rules. It is kind of a gray area, sort of like with the YouTube guidelines as well, where there are a lot of gray areas, where certain stuff is allowed and certain stuff is not. I mean, on YouTube, you have Zoe Berg playing in a bikini, for Christ's sakes. I don't know how much revealing or more revealing you could get than that. And you also have some streamers who do the same thing on Twitch. So I really don't see where the line is drawn when these streamers start to get banned. Do they have to blow someone on stream? Do they have to flash themselves on stream? What do they have to do to get banned? Because it seems like Twitch and YouTube are not doing their jobs when it comes to stuff like this, and it's very unfortunate. And I think a lot of these streamers should be banned for over-sexualizing themselves just to make money. Now guys, a lot of people are saying, oh, they should just go cam girl. They should just, you know, go do pornography. Now guys, in my opinion, th that's, 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 that's not right. That's totally different. There's a difference between over-sexualizing yourself and doing straight up porn. So, yeah. I don't think, I think when people say that, I think it starts to get a little too extreme. However, I do think they should be banned off platforms like Twitch and YouTube from live streaming if they're just going to over, over sexualize themselves to make money and gain subscribers. And they're going to put this tiny little box of gameplay in the side while their face cam is gigantic and they're basically like this to the camera with their cleavage mostly covering everything. And they start doing squats on stream and they start dancing on stream in these little tight revealing outfits. Where does Twitch draw the line? They started to ban them a while back and then they came back somehow. They started getting unbanned and no one really knows why they got unbanned. But I believe they should be banned if they're over sexualizing themselves just to make money, just to gain subs, just to gain viewership. I think they should be banned because it crosses community guidelines, or at least I think it does, but like I said, community guidelines are a gray area. You have streamers playing in bikinis, for Christ's sakes. Where does the line end? Do they have to screw someone on stream? Do they have to blow someone on stream? Do they actually have to show their private parts on stream? What is it? I've seen plenty of streamers banned for way less, where a dude takes off his shirt and gets banned. So... Where, where is the line drawn? Where, where, why, why aren't YouTube and or Twitch doing their jobs? They're the one who created these guidelines and are so strict about people following them. And then when people break the rules, they're just like, you know what? That's okay as long as they bring in money. When small people do this, if small people try this, they can't get away with it. But if you're a big person who brings in a lot of money, all of a sudden it's okay. So it is a corruption thing? What is it? Anyways, guys, in my final opinion, I think booby streamers absolutely are killing streaming um 
in a way i believe that they can kill streaming if they continue to grow at the rate they're growing and start becoming you know the biggest people on youtube and the biggest people on twitch i think it will start to affect stuff then and then i think live streaming will begin to die and be killed off i think booby streamers affect other female streamers who want to make good quality content the most i see a lot of backlash targeted towards female streamers who are normal who are just normal people trying to play the game try to have fun and i see a pe bunch of people going on them and attacking them when when really the hate and negativity should be aimed at the people actually doing those actions now i'm not saying to go hate and go be negative towards someone in no way shape or form am i condoning that because i'm a good person so yeah i i don't think anybody should be going to hate on them from this video it's just just, just cover my own ass <laughs> it's good so yeah guys i i really really think booby streamers affect regular female streamers the most and when i say regular female streamers i mean people who produce good quality content who just want to play video games and have a good time and build a community and be just a regular streamer a lot of that backlash goes goes towards them because you have this large group of people who hate booby streamers and then go over there and just hate on female streamers who are just trying to play and have a good time which is unfortunate so yeah guys that's just my opinion on booby streamers what do you guys think should they be banned how should they be taken care of what, what where where is the line drawn what, what, what sh what's going on Leave that down in the comment section below. Leave your guys' thoughts. I would love to hear them. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to this help the channel grow. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. But until then, remember to stay freaky.